All right, it's your boy YT Dan back at it again with another video. And today is a day unlike any other day because today we are consistently uploading, my boys. And also, the new Terra Elements have been released along with other cards that other people aren't playing right now. But a lot of people are playing the Terra strategy, and I think it's a pretty interesting um concept of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! it kind of begs the question to me personally like why do people like this deck because how i've seen people play it it's like it's playing by putting everything out there and then they have a couple graveyard effects and it's interesting because you think you just be able to play against it really effectively by going second but I'm seeing playing with Valance that the ability to have just multiple effects on the same card has really been helping me out a lot. And I actually, this is the first time I've drawn hand traps against this deck actually going to say, oh, I don't know that they're playing it, but obviously they could be. Huh? This is the actual first time I've ever played against the deck and drawn hand traps. So I'm gonna see how far this gets me. It says, this card is normal summon. You can send three cards from the deck of the graveyard. If he had to blow his normal summon on this and he didn't summon that tuner fairy monster, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna, I think he's hard up. So if he's hard up, I'm just gonna imperm. If he's not hard up, he can catch it in the Nibiru. So I'm pretty sure we'll see what's gonna happen here. Okay, yeah, he's got this. Okay, that's fine. These, like these decks, their hands go to zero or one card. And then they have like two to three negates and some graveyard uh, effects. Oh no, it's Splite. Okay, this is Splite. Nani. Okay, he's gonna summon his level two, I guess, from here. Yeah, that's the level two. Okay, so this is kind of interesting because I guess that Imperm really was extremely effective. So we're gonna see what happens when I play this card. What is your response, my boy? We're gonna summon. Now I did bring in some of these bigger level eights since I'm gonna focus on going second because the level eights help to really make explosive plays. All right. We're gonna summon level eight. Now, I don't know what he has in his hand and he hasn't indicated that he has ash or anything. So, I don't know. Yeah, okay, here he goes. He's gonna summon this. He's gonna mill and try to get a fusion. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. And he missed. Oh no, he hit. I think he hit this. Yeah, he hit this. Lucky. It looks like, yeah. 33 cards left, okay. Yeah, he got lucky. He hit that, oh, he hit the trap too. To add a card to the hand. He'll probably add the card to let some special summon it from the hand to do something else. I think he like special summons from the hand and then dump some cards so it can try to fuse and then, oh, he got this too? Jesus, Jesus. All right, so you got Scream, he's gonna add. He's got the other card he's gonna add. And he's gonna add the, the monster that he can special summon, I think. I mean, with, and they're all once per turn, so. Oh no, he's not gonna fusion. That doesn't fusion, okay. I think he might be toast. Let's see what happens. I mean, I don't, they don't play Ash because they're milling their deck. So you get away with this. Beyond the pendulum! Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Looks like I inspire the terror in these elements. <laughs> I'm having, I'm having a good time playing against these, against this archetype. I didn't think that this archetype would actually be so easy to play against. I thought it was gonna be a lot tougher, but I've been reading up about this archetype and been playing in the TCG and just kind of studying from afar. 
So it's kind of interesting how things are falling out, especially in Master Duel. But they are definitely nerfed from how the TCG was with all of the different things that they could use. But definitely, I mean, they're getting clapped over here. <laughs> I mean, I've been, I've been clapping them. I've been clapping them. Outside of that one loss that I took because of the time limit, that's the only L I've taken to this deck so far. So I think I'm gonna just keep clapping them there. Oh, Exo Sisters, yikes. Add Exo Sisters, add a Martha. This deck, honestly, I don't like this deck. <laughs> this deck is like, you gotta respect this deck. This deck gets like pretty dirty. Wow, that's busted, and those effects are not negated. You gotta respect these effects. Like, basically, if you do anything in the graveyard, Exo Sisters go off. So you gotta stay out the graveyard, basically. Oh, us. Snap, can I be destroyed by battle? Ah, yes. No, sir. We won't let you have that. Exercise this. Exercise this. Nani? Huh? That doesn't negate it. Yeah, right. The veil has been risen. <laughs> Wonderful. That man was like, I'm gonna stop that veiler, dog. No, you're not. <laughs> All right. Let's beat this guy up a little bit. Um, we're gonna start by baiting some stuff out because our hand is leading deeper into fire. So we're gonna just lead with Shinoname and see how many crimes Shinoname can get away with. No, not Maxi. Okay. All right. Shinoname, it's time to commit crimes. I activate Shinoname's effect. All right. It's time to get crazy. I mean, this hand is definitely not fair or optimal, but we gotta push our limits because if we're playing under Max C, I'm not getting much response over there. So I don't think he has too much of anything. So I, I need to go as quickly as possible. All right. I am gonna get that other card. Ah, I need this. Do this. Right. I'm doing the Valance Wars. Definitely. So that card definitely isn't imperm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Definitely not imperm at this point. Alright. I kinda just wanna go into Beyond the Pendulum because I don't want to risk him getting anything else. But then again, I, I know that if he's got Ash, then I'm not dead in the water. I still got some plays, but they're not the best plays, but I'm taking a chance right here. I'm going right into Beyond the Pendulum, only because I'm under Maxi. Only, only. Could this be a terrible choice? It was imperm. I gave him the bait. All right, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. We can still cap him. Doesn't make me a difference, boy. My Valance combos will never cease. All right. Let's see what we receive. The blessings of the Valance. Mad Marquis, show me your madness. Yes. This is good. All right. 
It's time to end this. This is your last chance for salvation. Here's the Voltage Fish Scout, and I'm activating his effect. All right. You're finished. Here's the Apple, Appaloosa on ya. Here's the summon on ya. Here's the summon on ya. Here's this summon on ya. Woo, let's go, let's go! <laughs> you fool! <laughs> All right, here we go. First, I'm gonna move this monster right here. I'm gonna move him. Now I'm in control of this duel. Now you'll pay the price, the proper price. Then we're gonna go one, two. Got the electromite on him. Yeah, yeah. All right, electromite. We're gonna go get. Ooh. Ooh. Gimme. 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 Let's go. Uh. So let's go ahead and. Activate this. It's in the impermanence column. Impossible. And then I'm gonna activate this. Destroying it. Adding back a powerful monster. Now, I set the monster here in the spell trap zone. Come forth, my beast. Hmm. This is the power of the Valance world. Prepare yourself, Exo Sisters. <laughs> Let me double check this real quick. Who else? What I got right here? Was it telling me I can hit him? Hit him with? Oh, I can do that. That is pretty spicy. <laughs> Yes, this is the power of my Valance world. There's nothing, there's nothing they can do against this, boy. All right, boys, here's another game um, playing against this deck. And I mean, I'm literally going in against this deck and I really want to show you guys how busted this deck is, how crazy um, the Valance deck is. So first off, opening up with only Max C, that is so bad. Like in this format, if you're gonna play against Terra Elements, you need cards like Effect Veiler, Imperm, Nibiru, or Maxi. You need stuff like that. You, and you need at least two to three cards that you can play in their turn on the stuff they put on the field. And you need to have that every game. So you gotta play a lot of hand traps in your deck uh, going forward. But let's just continue. So we're gonna super sanic speeds because of course he has Herald of Orange Light. Mill, mill, mill. He's going crazy. Yeah, here's the Kello. So this is their engine card. This is their main card that gets everything going. You can even summon this card from Instant Fusion. It's ridiculous. All right, so he's just gonna use the effect to keep milling and basically special summon as many ridiculous monsters and the gates that he can put on the field. Scream is gonna reduce the attack points of all monsters on the field. And then also um, all these cards float and do something. So uh, the big monsters float and float and special summon. Like this, if like if this card goes to the graveyard, you can special summon itself. A 3,000, 3,000 beater, like crazy, that does a bunch of other stuff. And then here's another, here's the other one. This is the negate. But this this card, if it's to sit to the graveyard by an effect, it can special summon itself. So if you're going to get rid of these cards, you got to be able to either kill it twice or return it to the deck, um, you know, by some other means. Like return it from the field to the deck and not the graveyard or whatever you're going to do. So basically, I'm going into this board with no board breakers, no go second stuff, nothing, just 
four pendulum cards. So I think that this is pretty fair assessment of just kind of how these duels go. And big shout out to my man's the Valance Archer. You gotta respect this card. If you don't respect it, then you're gonna get smoked by it every time. And so far, these players have been respecting him. Like every time they see him on site, he's getting capped, negated, and capped. So now they don't have to worry about him until I pendulum summon, which is a pretty good move. So he's gonna keep doing all this. He brought his boy back. Um, and then um, these cards, these effects are all once per turn, by the way. So you gotta keep that in mind. He brought his boy back. So now I'm going to start special summoning. And the reason why this deck is effective, as you probably noticed when we played the earlier game, is that there's so many effects happening that your opponent has to make a choice and pick something. And they only got three negates. So, you know, he already used one and he's got two more now. I mean, well, no, he's only got one more now. He used one here. He special summoned from the hand. He's got the negate here. And then in the graveyard, what was triggering the whole time was the Keldo, um, you know, was basically saying that he could banish some stuff in the grave, but this deck doesn't really use its graveyard. So pretty much he's like naked at this point and I can just use my effects. So there goes the Baron Negate killing off um, the heavy metal foes. So now I'm going to get into the combo. And right now I was running out of time because I was reading these cards <laughs> because this is the second game that I played against them. And I didn't have like a ton of experience at the time just playing against it. But what's really cool about this move right here th that you might have missed when I summoned the Valance Archers and used the effect, the coin flip was head. So that negates the effect on this monster. So that means that um, uh, this card couldn't use the effect to shuffle a card back into the deck. So I negated the shuffle. And then now I'm going to go into my uh, Link Summon for Beyond the Pendulum. And Beyond the Pendulum is going to get the search. The way the deck is set up is set up to always have at least one Pendulum card left when you do Beyond the Pendulum. And it doesn't matter if it's um, the OB Karate Fighter or any Valance card. It's just always going to be that. So here we go. It's time to set those scales. Pendulum Summon. Blowing up two cards. Now, this card is negated. And also it uses effect already. I think I think it's safe to kill this card. Yeah, because he brought it back when he used that other monster's uh, negate. He, when he used this monster's negate, which got pushed into the spell trap zone by the power of the Valance world. So basically this is negated, the push is negated, the, ne the spell trap negate is negated and, the, and Baron is negated. So he's defeated in terms of his negates. Now I just gotta clear this board which is definitely possible because, you know, we got Nightmare Unicorn and then we also have um, the Goddess of the Underworld, which is definitely a really good card that you can play in this deck for sure. So yeah, he as soon as I just went into Nightmare, he just was like, forget it. <laughs> but I'm, but my boys, I am clapping. I, I am clapping this deck, my boy. So I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I want y'all to enjoy some of these videos and also catch me on the stream coming up soon, my boy. So as always, keep it dang.